What up y'all, how's it going? Ben Dean here. Man, last night was a fugazi. I don't know what happened. I was drinking a little bit, not even that much, but um, for some reason it just hit me like a ton of bricks out of nowhere. And uh, yeah, needless to say, I was uh, a little bit, I was feeling it. So um, this morning, still feeling it a little bit. I think I know the perfect cure though, and that's leftover pizza. So this is just some, uh, some leftover pizza from last night. Uh, I ordered a pizza when I got home. A very big pizza, this one actually. It's uh, 18 inches. It's my new favorite spot actually. It's a good. It's good for Korean pizza. Uh, the pepperoni is good. It was about 23, 24 bucks or so. Um, so decent deal in my opinion, and it's pretty good. Uh, I personally, I like cold pizza, but it's not the most appetizing thing, I guess. Uh, especially if you're watching at home and you can't actually taste it. I mean, the taste, the taste is good. Mmm. But, I figured since I'm going to be eating leftover pizza, I'd also show you a trick. I don't know, maybe, I thought this was a trick when I learned about it, but maybe everyone knows this and it's just common info. But, there's a way to reheat pizza that makes it almost even better than the original form. I'm not even lying. And that is with uh, a frying pan. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook up a couple of these uh, slices and warm them back up. So I got some of that leftover pizza right here, uh, looking like leftover pizza. Uh, I got a pan, it's over kind of medium, low heat. Uh, you don't want it too hot or else it could burn the bottom. So I'm just gonna put these in uh, like so. You can uh, arrange them however they'll fit. And then what you wanna do it's just, you want to cover it up uh, with something. If you don't have an actual lid, just use some foil like that. And keep it on there for a couple minutes. And once the cheese is melted and the bottom is nice and crusty, you got a great pizza. It's been a couple minutes. Let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. You can already see a huge difference. Uh, the cheese is melted. Um, and the bottom, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's actually crisped up a lot. So, this is gonna be good to go right now. Yeah, these are looking a lot better. A lot fresher, a lot more crispy. Let me put this back. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and heat up a couple more while I'm eating this as well. All right, so I got a couple more heating up over there. That's the only problem with this technique. Uh, if you're eating a lot of leftover pizza, you might have to you know, cook it in batches because a fry pan is only so big. Usually you don't have that much leftover pizza. I just had this giant, giant thing. So, all right, here's the original cold pizza I was eating. Nothing really special about it. Just good leftover pizza, cold pizza. Now let's try this bad boy right here. As you can see, I mean, this is looking fresh. This is looking like a brand new piece of pizza. Um, the bottom got a little bit crispier and let's give this a try. Mmm, yeah. Wow. The oil, this, this is better than the original, I gotta say. Because something about the fry pan, I'm not sure what it is, uh, there's some kind of reaction going on with the, the oils and the grease in the, in the pizza or something. You don't have to put any uh, anything in the pan, just lay down the pizza flat. Mmm, the crust becomes like the, the, I don't even know how to explain it. There's such a thin, crispy layer of the crust just on the very bottom. Um, it's not like, uh, I don't, yeah, it's just crispy. And delicious, it's not crunchy though. Like that can be a problem with some pizzas that the crust can get like crunchy. Feeling better already. <clears throat> a lot better. I could honestly probably let these go a little bit more. Hopefully I don't forget those over there, but yeah. Honestly, the flavor changes as well. I'm not sure why that is exactly.
it, it's just like a fresh pizza. I don't know. You guys gotta try it if you haven't tried it. Forget the microwave or the oven. You know, the fry, fry pan is all you need. But yeah. Man, last night, I don't even know, man. I was playing golf with a buddy. And um, usually when I'm playing golf, I'll have some drinks, either some beer or some soju. They kind of go hand in hand, golf and drinking. Unexpectedly, we ended up playing two games and um, or two rounds. And I don't know, man. I would, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. Sometimes, like, you go, you'll be drinking um, a certain amount. I'll just say, uh, I think I had like two bottles of soju yesterday. I've had that so, like, countless number of times. And sometimes I'll drink it and I'll be like, man, I'm not even maybe a little bit tipsy, a little bit buzzed, a little bit feeling it. And sometimes, like, last night, it just. Last night was probably the weirdest experience I've ever had though because it hit me so quick and hard. I've never had that before. To that extent. But um Got home and uh should probably check on that pizza. Alright, these are gonna be a lot crispier. I'll let these go for a little bit more. Maybe on a little bit hotter heat. The crust got a lot darker than this one. Uh, it's not quite burnt. It's not burnt at all. But it should be a lot crispier actually. I'm not w sure how well you can hear that. But this is very... Uh, yeah, this is better than... And sometimes I'll even order a pizza and throw it right in the pan. I've been known to do that. If I'm feeling extra. Uh, because every time you get a pizza delivered, it's not going to be the crispiest crust. Um, you know, it's been sitting in a box for at least 20 minutes or so. Maybe less, maybe more. I had one time I had to wait an hour and a half to get pizza back in America, man. I still remember that. I was I was getting real heated. But yeah, anyway, I came home last night in my uh in my state of mind, I was like, man, I, I should probably eat something. So I got a pizza. This place is called uh in Korean you pronounce it Inus, but I read it as Inus. Uh, Inus Pizza 46. They're known for this big, bad, big, bad pizza right here. The 46 centimeter pizza. Which is 18 inches, but. I think 12 slices. I got the pizza. I had like two slices. And I was like, nah, I can't eat anymore. My stomach was feeling too weird. So. But actually, <laughs> I remember, now that I think about it, I remember in my, I guess my drunken stupor, I was thinking like, hey, I'm gonna get this big ass pizza. I know I won't be able to finish all of it, but maybe I could do like a leftover pizza mukbang. That's kind of, I've done a lot of pizza mukbangs. Uh, everyone knows leftover pizza. Everyone likes cold pizza, right? Or is that just, you know, I think a lot of people do like it. I haven't done anything like that though. So it would also, and it would also cure my hangover. So it was like a two in one. That's what I was thinking last night. And I was like, yeah, that's a, such a great idea. I'm gonna get that pizza. I wasn't sure how much I'd have left over, but I, th I figured I'd have some. But yeah, ended up eating two slices. And yeah, I just hit the head. 
right away. Hmm. Definitely a respectable, <coughs> respectable pizza. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'm getting old though, because that I was actually very, very surprised last night. Because usually that would not happen to me. I'm not the the biggest heavyweight. when it comes to drinking, but I'm usually not a lightweight either. I might have to reheat this bad boy too. I'll just have this one as the original, the lone cold pizza, BRB. Ugh. You wanna know something funny? A lot of you guys have probably already seen it, uh, cause I'm assuming that a lot of you guys probably also follow Kimi on YouTube, but. Mm. Woke up this morning, checked my subscription feed and saw that she did like a, some kind of fusion combo with I think fire noodles and leftover pizza. And I was like, no way. This is my, my drunken plan to do a leftover pizza video. And her, you know, hers is a lot different, obviously, but I was like, wow, what are the odds of that? And I've had this happen. It's weird, it's weird because I've had this happen multiple times. Many, many times. I've been either, this will happen like, I, I have a video in mind uh, that I want to do and then I'll I'll be just browsing YouTube and a video will pop up uh, From another youtuber another mukbang Person and uh, they did the video like two days ago, and I'm like oh man It looked like I'm copying if I just if I did the video now So I just won't make the video oh uh, that's happened to me a lot and uh, Today I'm just like whatever I, I put you know, I'm just gonna film this I got all this leftover pizza I'm gonna eat it But no, I didn't copy anybody. And sometimes the other way around, I'll make a video, and then a couple days later, like sometimes like the very next day, within hours, I'll, I'll see someone else on YouTube who uploaded kind of like a very similar video, like maybe from the same restaurant, mukbang from the same uh, restaurant or something like that. It's happened at least, I want to say, like 10, 15 times. A weird number of times. Oh, 
Mm. One more thing I'll mention, sometimes, um, sometimes the cheese will spill over the side and get kind of that crispy, uh, burnt, almost kind of burnt cheese, which is so damn good. Why is that burnt cheese so good? Usually things that are burnt aren't good. You know what, <laughs> just to annoy a few people out there, I'm not going to eat this crust. I'll eat it later. I still have a few more pieces left uh, in the fridge. This is just a massive pizza, so uh, I'm going to throw this in with them and eat it later for dinner probably. Uh, but yeah. I guess that's about it for this video. Nothing special, just some leftover pizza. But I hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. Before I end it, I wanna give a couple shout outs to Sachiko and uh, Anna. Thank you guys for supporting me on Patreon. And thank you to everyone on Patreon. Thank you for everyone who's watching this video. Uh, and yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>